Hello, eighth graders at the New Prague Middle School. I'm Miss Erickson and I'm one of the school counselors here at the New Prague High School. I'm excited to be helping you with your course registration process to select classes for your ninth grade school year. Your advisors have all helped eighth graders over the years through this process and they're going to walk alongside of you as you're getting ready to register for next year's classes. We're super excited, of course, this year because we're all hoping that we'll be back together in person. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see each other's faces and those lovely smiles that we all have. Um, hopefully it'll be um, somewhat of a return to normal. I know everybody's eager for that. So we're super excited for you guys to come up here. Um, we're ready to welcome you up to the New Prague High School. So I'll share a brief video today. I know you're up to your eyeballs in videos and emails and online procedures. So we're trying to make this as painless as possible. Um, throughout the process, I wanna make sure that you um, know that you can get the information that you need and that you don't um, you know, sort of give up on the process because it's a lot more of this online um, work that we need to do. Um, for that reason, I want to make sure that you guys know that your, your school counselors, there are four of us up here and we divide up the alphabet, um, but we are ready and able to help you. We're right here in our offices. We're going to help you throughout the registration process. A lot of times your advisors will give us a call up here if you have a question that if they can't answer the question, they'll call up here and check with us. Um, parents and guardians can certainly get a hold of us. You guys, we're literally just a phone call away. So I think it'll help to kind of go old school and if you end up having a question or you're confused or frustrated um, give us a call we're here to help you um, so i'm going to walk you through this um, brief video today just to just to kind of lay the groundwork and get you started um, our registration timeline we're going to start um, on wednesday march 3rd um, we'll be sending out um, directions all in one email so we want everything in one place so you don't have to be searching for it and looking all over uh, various emails or different places. So everything's going to come in one in one shot for you. Um, this video, of course, um, directions, the registration guide that contains our course descriptions, all the links will be in one spot. And then on Friday, March 5th, we'll be opening it up so that you can um, go onto your campus portal account and you can begin registering for your high school classes. There are no paper forms necessary this year. I'm not looking for a parent signature or anything like that, but by you going onto your account and registering there online, um, that is gonna be all we need this year. Um, Tuesday, March 9th, we happen to have conferences up here at the high school. And so we're gonna have open office hours. We certainly are available at all other times during the normal school days as well. Um, we'll just happen to have some big chunks of um, late afternoon and evening times there if that's convenient for, um, for parents and guardians. And then on March 12th, Friday, March 12th, will be our deadline to register. And so by that point, we would like you to have entered your class selections onto uh, your campus portal account. So the way to get started is um, we, we just wanna sort of share an overview with you of what are the required classes that you need to take and then you will be working with a registration guide, sort of a menu, if you will, of all of the different classes that we offer. Um, and then you will be talking um, with people that you know in your life. You can see that down here in this point, communicating um, with parents, guardians, teachers, older brothers and sisters. Um, Ms. Hodnefeld is down there to help you and um, other teachers uh, down in the middle school. So we want you to talk to all of those people while using the registration guide to decide what sort of elective classes you are interested in taking in addition to the required the required classes. I'm going to show you those required classes right now. These top two, two points you guys are just um, bringing you to one spot and I'm going to show it to you right now. Uh, both of these pages are showing you the same information but in different formats. So this is our credit inventory of required courses and frankly, uh, for many students, it's a little bit easier to look at the tab that we have right below that, and that is the sample high school for your plan. This breaks it up into your grade levels much easier, so it's a little easier to look at. So for ninth graders, what you'll be taking next year are listed in this little grid right here. We have, of course, seven class periods and two semesters, and you will need to take seven uh, classes. One of those may be a study hall if you decide that you want it to be, 
but the point is you have to fill in seven spots for each semester. And we start right off with the only change that we have for next year, um, or at least for that will affect ninth graders, and that is that you'll be taking instead of American Civics, which as you can see is for our older classes, class of 2024, 2023, 2022, next year's seniors. Instead, the class of 2025, you guys and everyone beyond you will be taking something called Freshman Social Studies Seminar. So that will be your social studies class. You will also take World History. You will take, as is uh, shown here, ninth grade literature and composition, semesters one and two, introduction to physics and introduction to chemistry, fitness for life, a technology class, and then you'll all select the appropriate math class. Your math teachers will be advising you as to which math class would be appropriate to take at the high school level. And if there are any adjustments to that, because it's we're only partway through the school year and you haven't really finished all of your math curriculum for the year, if there are any changes, we certainly can accommodate those later in the spring um, for your math selection in particular. And then fine arts um, can be taken any time between ninth and 12th grade. There actually is a requirement to take two semesters of some of the fine art classes that we have to select from. We actually have a page devoted to the fine arts and what counts for the fine arts selections in our registration guide. So you'll be able to see clearly what sorts of classes can count for that. Um, a couple easy examples of that would be band or choir. Um, some of you will be taking that next year. And so, for instance, band would overlay this fine arts uh, description under period six for semester one band or choir would certainly count for one of the fine arts. And it actually would count for both of them next year because you'd have it semester one and semester two. So that is just a very brief overview of what is required of ninth graders. You uh, saw on there that there were a couple spots left open. Certainly if you took music, band or choir for two semesters and then two other electives. Some of you will take a world language. Certainly not everyone will take a world language like German or Spanish, but there are many, many, many um, very good electives that you may choose from to fill in those remaining spots. I mentioned communicating with the people in your life to get some suggestions on what would be wise to take, and then also using our registration guide, which is going to really alert you to quite a, quite a few things. I'm gonna go over that in just a second. Um, but the registration form that you're going to need, it's going to come in one of our newsletters that's in this whole massive one email that you're going to get. This is what your course registration page is going to look like, and you can make a copy of it, you can print it out, you can save it in your Google Drive, and this will be uh, just another format that we show you what you need to take, and then this is what you will work with when you go ahead and just enter them onto your campus portal account. And of course, we indicate that your schedule is not going to be, you know, in this order at all, but these are the courses that you need. Each course has a course number. Uh, at the time of this recording, I don't know the course number for Freshman Social Studies Seminar because it's brand new. So we'll have that for you by the time you're registering. And you can see these course numbers are all affiliated with their appropriate classes. The A and the B, you guys, they just signify a semester one and a semester two. So anything that's an A and a B means it lasts the entire year. It's two semesters long. Your math will be like that as well. And so would a world language if you're going to sign up for a world language. Your total credits are going to be either 12, 13 or 14, depending on if you decide to, to select a study hall or not. And then we do ask that you would put down alternate courses for us. Uh, typically, we're going to need those alternate courses to replace classes that have conflicts. Often, those conflicts are going to only be in the elective areas, such as industrial technology or uh, physical education business electives, maybe family and consumer science, perhaps the art department, 
those are some of the areas that we have electives that we might need a first, second, third choice from you. So please do list alternate selections for us. And then uh, briefly, I mentioned this registration guide a couple times. We really want you looking at it. Um, it's got all of the courses and all the grade levels listed at the back in a very uh, sort of comprehensive menu. It's very easy to look at, very helpful. Prerequisites are things that you have to take in order to get into another class. It's required before getting into it, so you'll want to notice those. Certainly there are college level courses, college and career readiness um, tips. A lot of that you're not going to have to worry about at this time. And then what, what we really want to alert you guys to is something new, and I think this is going to be especially helpful for eighth graders. All of our departments are recording videos. So our teachers are recording some short videos to help uh, introduce you to their courses, their electives, and some of the things that you might not know about their subject areas. And so that is going to help you as you're looking for ideas of what electives to take and what departments you might be interested in. Videos are going to be very helpful. We definitely want to make sure that you look at them. For example, the language arts video is going to help explain if you are a student interested in possibly taking the honors language arts classes. The language arts video is going to explain exactly how to go about that. So each of the videos is divided by department and it's going to be really important for you to take a nice look at those. Couple final points. Uh, registration is not first come, first serve, you guys. So this is not, um, it's not a race. So take your time. We, we mostly want to make sure that you, well, mostly I'd like to get back to the proper screen here and see if it'll stay. There we go. Uh, registration is not first come, first serve. We mostly want to make sure that you do it accurately. Don't worry about when you enter your classes, as long as we get them in by the deadline of Friday, March 12th. Um, all your classes are considered equally, no matter when you enter them on Campus Portal. We do want you to use that for your high school planning page. It's okay if as an eighth grader, you're not ready to fill in all the blanks on that. You can focus on ninth grade primarily. The alternate choices, we really do use those in the event of a course conflict. So make sure that you select those with, with seriousness. And just so that you guys know, um, you don't actually select which semester you take a class. Um, you may designate if you want one or two study halls. And uh, there's a method that that works that your advisors will be able to tell you if you want a, a study hall in the fall or in the spring, they each have a different course number. You don't select which lunch you have. And we do want you, of course, to plan to keep the classes that you take at registration time. A lot of processes go into place, including things like budget and hiring teachers uh, to run the, the schedule. And so it really is important for you to take it seriously. We wanna help you do a good job with your registration now so that there are minimal changes later on. So finally, just to finish up, um, complete your online registration in Campus Portal, go into your account. I think that will be familiar to some of you. If it's not, we have a nice little tip sheet for how to do that. And certainly your eighth grade advisors are gonna know and be familiar with that as well. Follow the directions. We're gonna be sending you a nice little newsletter that you will um, have these directions repeated in. Your required classes, the ones that are the same for everybody will be preloaded. So you're going to see those in your account already. And then your math teachers will help you with your math class. Again, that deadline is Friday, March 12th. And you guys, if you remember anything from this video, please remember your school counselors are here to help. We are a phone call away and we want to help you um, in any way that we can. So don't be afraid to get in touch with us. Thanks so much. Bye.